Welcome back. You know what time it is. We're going to be doing something special and we're chatting to professional athlete, Olympic qualifier and super mom of three, Jenna Chalanor, produced a stunning effort to cross the line in fifth place at the 2019 Old Mutual Two Oceans Marathon after battling a stress fracture and collapsing the previous year. Now, the 38-year-old ultramarathon winner has had to overcome a few challenges in the sport but exceeded her own limits every single time. And now this morning, Jenna joins us to talk about life in lockdown before taking us through one killer short fitness segment. Jenna, how are you doing this morning? Yeah, I'm very good, thanks. Doing well, enjoying that, trying to. <laughs> now, I can imagine during the lockdown, it's not always easy, but how have you been doing, obviously, considering the pandemic we're in? You know what, I'm not going to lie, it has been tough as an elite athlete, not being able to train like I normally do and get out of the road and do what I love. Now, as you've just mentioned, the COVID-19 outbreak prompted the suspension of many sporting events and it's forced athletes such as yourself to find ways to stay fit at home. So how have you been keeping active during this time? You know what, I've just been doing what I can and where I can and with what I can. I'm very blessed to have a treatment at home. I actually set up my gym. Possibly about, it, it was finished just in time for lockdown. So I have a treadmill on a bike, so that's what I've been doing in lockdown. I don't have any weights or any of those kind of things. I've just used, been using my own body weight um, and literally doing what I can and enjoying just a bit of slow pause life. Oh, blessings that you're able to get some equipment to keep on. And we're doing a short little workout, I believe, where we don't need any equipment whatsoever, so everybody at home can join us. So, Jenna, where are we going to begin with this workout? Where do we start? I am so excited. Okay, so this workout is um, what I often do with my bio. It's more running focused. So for runners, we often become very quad dominant, um, and that's what causes knee injuries and all the other injuries. So to try and prevent that kind of um, injury, we make sure we um, keep our core, our glutes and our hips activated and working for us to be able to run properly and, and just prevent those injuries. So today the exercises that I've um, put together, there's five of them and they all focus on the core, the hips and the glutes. Cool, so the first one we're gonna do is called hip raises. Um, so all you need is a, a chair or a little ta coffee table or something to put your legs on. You guys at home, don't, make, don't worry if you don't have a chair, you can grab anything with any height. I see Jenna's using the edge of a couch over there, so make a plan, just get some height on the ground and let's start our first exercise. Right, Jenna, I'm ready, I'm on the ground, I've got my feet on the chair, what's next? So you're gonna lie down on the ground with your legs 90 degrees, you've gotta engage your core and you're gonna fire up through the glutes. So as you, as you engage your core, you fire up through the glutes, All right. squeezing your glutes and come back down, that's one. Fire up through the glutes, squeezing your core, two. Fire up through the glutes, squeezing your core, and squeezing your glutes, and come back down. That's oh. three. Guys, I know you might struggle with this, but the goal is 15, obviously. Try it out. Jenna's doing it, and she's smashing it. I'm feeling a good burn in the glutes. Is that correct? Absolutely. 15 reps, three sets. All right, brilliant. I love that one to start off with. Firing up the glutes. Where are we going to next? The next. We're going to lie in a plank position. This is a plank arm and leg raise. So you're going to get into a plank position like this. Okay. Raise your core. Make sure your back is flat, squeezing your shoulder blades together. You're going to punch with one arm out, punch with the other arm, raise your leg, raise your leg, and that's one. All right, so we're going for a punch. Is that correct? Then another punch, and then raise the one leg and raise the other leg. Oh, you made it look a lot easier than that. I'm feeling a good stimulation in the shoulders as well, especially on that punch, so this is really cool. And then again, my glutes and the bum is firing up when I lift the leg, is that, is that right? Yeah, just make sure your, your bum is lower, your back is flat, and you're bracing your core. Moving over to the third one, Jenna, what you got for us? Okay, for the third exercise, this is a side filler plank. So you're gonna get into a side plank like this. All right, side make sure, plank. Make sure your hips are up. You sque you're engaging your core, squeezing your glutes, and you're gonna do a clam. You're gonna open your knee, out and down, one. Open and close, two. Open and close. Make sure you're engaging your core, squeezing your core. Keep, make sure the hip is up, 
and this hip is straight in the ceiling, and you're gonna do that 15 times, three steps. Oh, no, Gina, I must say, this is a beautiful exercise. I know a lot of the sprinters that I run with, we're always focusing on that glute need. It's such a brilliant muscle for this exercise, especially. I'm seeing how it targets it brilliantly. So all you runners out there, long distance sprinters, I think you're going to benefit from this exercise. It's a brilliant one. Gina, thank you for that one as well. So what's the next one? Awesome. So the next one is, if you go into all fours, it's called a four-point arm and leg, right? Yeah, okay, I'm on all fours now. I'm ready. You're gonna do alternate arm and leg, one. Alternate arm and leg, two. Alternate arm and leg, alternate arm and leg. And you're gonna do that 15 on each side, three steps. I'm sure you're starting to get the hang of this now. We're going for 15 reps once again, keeping nice and stable. Jenna, I am loving these exercises. Do you have anything to end it off? Please say yes. <laughs> yeah, so for my last exercise, you need to make sure you've got two um, little dish cuts or two little small towels on the floor that can slide. All right, stealing, stealing some dish cloths from mom in the kitchen. Put yourself into a position like this, bracing your core, and you're gonna, these are called mountain climbers. You're going to do 15 in each leg. One, two, three, four. Make sure you are squeezing the shoulder blades together to keep your back flat. Make sure your core is engaged and tight. <sighs> and you're going to do 15 on each leg. Three sets of those. Now, I've done mountain climbers before, but these are absolute killers. I'm feeling the hip flexors working over time. And there's some more quad stimulation here, which is really cool. So this is a definite step up from your standard uh, mountain climber. So this is a brilliant one, Jenna. Thank you so, so much for this. And now our biggest thanks to our ultra long distance runner, Jenna Chanelor, for giving us the basics we need to go get that extra mile. Jenna, thank you so, so much. I hope you have a beautiful day. Awesome, absolute pleasure. Thanks, Harry. <laughs>